my standard, I ask people, what is the definition of an herb? Just throwing out there, when I say herb, what do you think of? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I definitely think broadened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the key word, though, how broadened. <laughs> so, that means you've changed over the years yeah. what you thought it was. Yeah. Mom. So, we see say a plant with um, more uses, Mom. I don't even know what to say, like almost like um, culinary uses or medicinal uses. Mm -hmm. It's also very like generic. cotton because it's not just used culinarily, it's cul hmm, that word, culinarily, <laughs> it's, it's using part of the plant. Right. So for us, we do have a very broad definition that most people aren't used to. They do give the standard kind of culinary and medicinal. Um, and it's interesting even to see the change genera generationally, and I'll my turn to get stumble over words, but I used to get asked that question, uh, say of kids. And they would say, well, you know, if they even had a concept, it was mostly like food kind of stuff. Now they do say medicinal as well as culinary. So that just means that there's some Thanks that the it, it, <laughs> Yeah, probably. But it's exactly. interesting how oh, it's like yeah. now. It's like yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they're hearing a lot more of that stuff now, which is, which is good. But our definition is any plant that's useful to humans, except things that are used just for food. So when we say culinary, it's things that are flavoring your food, not necessarily the food items themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so when I mention corn or the cotton, those would be categorized in this garden as industrial mm -hmm. herbs, primarily. Because yes, you can eat corn as a food, but it's okay. used to make biofuels now. Uh, the Native Americans use it in many of their applications. So you kind of have to look beyond sort of the standard and see what the greater definition would be. So we're growing things for historical purposes because we want to show again people how plants have been used throughout cultures, throughout history, even into modern times. We have some um, historical applications. We have things like dye, fragrance, culinary, medicinal, industrial, Asian, things like that. So.